Welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the athletes, programs, and people at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Well, NSC TV has covered a large variety of sports and events here at the National Sports Center, but this might be the most unusual. During this past winter, in our NSC Sports Hall, two remote control airplane enthusiast groups have used the facility to fly their airplanes and helicopters. NSC TV was there last week to talk to some of these enthusiasts and track some flights. two clubs, I think one of them is called the Anoka County uh, RC Club, and um, the club that I'm um, a part with is uh, called 3D RC. Uh, 3D stands for three-dimensional, and um, it was a club that was started specifically for helicopters and uh, airplane pilots that want to do the uh, radical aerobatics, or what we call it, 3D. We always fly outside in the summertime, but in Minnesota we have long winters, so we look for places to fly inside. And last year we flew um, at our church, a church in Anoka, and it's just a small, uh, kind of a small gymnasium. And uh, it worked okay, but not quite as nice. Uh, one of the guys, president of the club, talked to the National Sports Center and said, could we use some time here? So we have some time early in the morning on Saturday or late on Saturday, like now, 10 o'clock till uh, one in the morning. You see these, they call these 3D foamies that are flying here, they're popular because, as you can see, they're big enough. You can see them at a distance and yet they can fly very slow and they can do you know, all the aerobatic maneuvers a full-scale airplane can do actually and more because they have so much more power for their weight than full-scale aircraft. Most of them are, uh, are some type of foam, um, either they're scale planes or just um, you know, foam construction. Some are real light plastic. Uh, the latest plane out here called the Vapor is just a thin, very thin uh, plastic and you know, graphite frame and the whole plane weighs a half an ounce. So, but most of the planes, you won't see any wooden construction plane like you'll see outdoors where they have the balsa and the uh, coating over it. It is, it's a uh, Park Zone Ultra Micro P51 Mustang. It's one of the few out here that actually has ailerons, most of them are flutter only. It's a faster plane, it's fun. We have rules at the airfield, there's only five planes flying at a time. In here, there's 30 planes in the air at a time. This one I've flown outside a few times and the wind grabs it pretty good. Um, the bigger planes, the gas powered planes, we usually fly outside to pretty good in the wind as long as it's not, uh, I don't know, 30 mile an hour winds with gusts, it, it gets pretty tough. <laughs> Well, we'll add that to our long list of sports that have been hosted here at the National Sports Center. As you can see today, I am outside the Schwann Super Rink, where last weekend we hosted the Ironman Adult Hockey Tournament. And as their saying goes, it's five games in three days. Can you handle it? And as CTV was there to find out. Five games, possibly six if you uh, go to the championship. It's pretty intense, fun competition. Uh, it's all about endurance, who can last one. Oh, it's a long, grueling tournament. you got five games to prepare for. It takes a whole week of carving up and getting ready for this tournament and, of course, drinking Coors Light. The next games, I have a couple of friends in it and they've been telling me that the teams are pretty good, so probably the next couple of games will be a lot more intense and also be a lot more tired. So. We are the Hilltop Minnesota Fitness Scorpions. Scorpions. <laughs> We're Scorpions. Yeah, this is on. the crew. We're sponsored. We're sponsored by the Hilltop World Scorpions.
Well, there's uh, many divisions, and uh, there's all uh, different competitiveness, and uh, so we're looking forward to uh, our next team to play. So it's like people that are just kind of get into it or haven't played a lot, maybe a little bit of high school hockey, but that's it. Um, so it's it's competitive, but not too competitive. It's just mainly a bunch of guys just having a fun time out there. Our next big adult hockey tournament comes in May with our Walleye Chop, which of course is always during the fishing opener weekend and is the most popular adult tournament we run here at the Schwann Super Rink. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, you can find us on our website at nscsports.org, and I'm your host, Scott Clayson. We were always looking for a place to fly indoors. Um, most most of the pilots fly outside. Someone crashed over there? Yeah, Mid -air yeah it's going pretty fast, and he just kind of didn't pull it tight enough and hit someone in the head. Once in a while it happens, but not very often. Piece of cake. No way. <laughs> <laughs> More cores and we're ready to go. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>